I was about to say morning, it's afternoon. Good afternoon! It is Monday! So, you know what that means, it's time to start a new vlog. So, I thought I'd do kind of like a get ready with me because I'm about to film a video. It will be the first video on my channel that is not a vlog for the first time in like two weeks. So, sorry about that, but it is a video of me reacting to your assumptions about me. Uh, wow, it's gonna be an interesting video. We've already got some interesting assumptions. <laughs> but by the time you watch this this video, it will already be up, so I will leave a link for it in the corner. But I'm um, a little nervous to talk about my dirty laundry on the internet, but it's fine. So yeah, before I film that, I thought I'd film a get ready with me and tell you what I plan to read this week. So what I like to do, I have like an everyday notebook that I use and Every week I write out my TBR, my wrap up, my book haul and my videos and I sort of keep filling it out throughout the week. It just helps to keep me organised. So I have got one, two, three, four, five books on my TBR this week but one of them I know I won't finish this week. So the first one is The Wicked King by Holly Black. I started reading this but I had to put it on hold for the Contemporary-a-thon. But yeah, I am really looking forward to this. I'm really looking forward to a certain something happening if you know what I mean. But yeah, I enjoyed uh, the first book. I didn't like head over heels fall in love with it like a lot of other people have. I gave it four out of five stars. And the only thing keeping me going is that uh like hateful, lustful, relationship that we have going between Cardin and Jude. So that's basically the only reason I'm reading this series, to be honest. I am also like excited to see where the story will go, but honestly that is like my secondary concern. Ugh, I need to use my hands for this. So yeah, that is my first priority because I had already started it previously, so I want to finish it. Ugh. So that is book number one. Book number two is the book that I picked out of my TBR jar. That is specifically the 12 books that have been on my TBR the longest. Planning on reading one a month and the book that I picked out for this month is Only Ever Yours by Louise O'Neill. This is said to be like a YA version of The Handmaid's Tale, which I love The Handmaid's Tale. That book really got me. So yeah, I've had that book for probably around five years and I still haven't read it, so that needs to happen. I don't know too much about it, I just know it's like... Uh, like a societal commentary set in like a dystopian setting, but like is it really dystopian or is it real life? So that is the second book on my TBR. The third book on my TBR is the book that I picked out of my regular TBR jar for the month and that is Neverworld Awake by Marisha Pessel. I've heard amazing things about this. Apparently it's really fast-paced. It's like a speculative fiction type of thing. Hi. Luna! <laughs> Do you want me to take Luna? No. It's okay. You can stay. Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> also, I hope you're not watching this analyzing how I do my makeup because we all know. I don't know how to do makeup. <laughs> Listen, it's a learning experience, okay? You gotta practice to get good. You know what I'm saying? Also, it probably doesn't help that I'm using the viewfinder to do my makeup. <laughs> Send help. Okay, the third book on my weekly TBR is my next major priority after The Wicked King, and that is my reread of City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I am rereading all of the Cassandra Clare books this year, apart from the Dark Artifices trilogy, because I just read those and they're not really my favorite. So I'm reading these. I will leave like the schedule that I'm using to reread these books. I will leave that in the description if you want to join, but basically I'm reading one or two books a month, sort of in order, and it's um, in the lead up for Chain of Gold. But uh, there is another Cassandra Clare book, uh, The Red Scrolls of Magic, which is coming out in April. And the events in that book actually take place after City of Glass, which is perfect. So I'm going to read City of Glass, and then I'll read Red Scrolls of Magic, and then we'll continue on. And then I'll read Clockwork 
Angel, I think, is the next one I'm reading. But yeah, I am planning on doing read with me vlogs for all of the Cassandra Clare books. So I'll have separate videos for all of them, showing you like my annotations and everything. But yeah, I'm really excited for that. Um, I've honestly, I've really missed the mortal instruments. I'm not going to lie. And I'm really excited to reread The Infernal Devices and annotate the shit out of those books because, well, those books have some lines. You know what I mean? So those are like the four main books on my TBR this week. But I also would really like to start The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Yeah, <laughs> this is a huge one. Uh, and it's a very intimidating one, but it is the name of the book. Um, it is their book club pick for February. So I thought, wow, it's the perfect time to read it. And they're hosting a meetup where they're going to discuss it. I think it's on the 2nd of March. So I do have a bit of time, but I just, I don't know how it's gonna go, but I want to at least start this this week so that's the tbr it's all fantasy so i mean it'll be nice after a week of reading only contemporary books and you guys know fantasy is my favorite genre so i'm excited to be getting back into it so yeah there are, those are the books that are on my tbr for the week but i do have one other thing to update you on before i finish this clip lucas is looking at me hello lucas could you do me a favor lucas could you pass me this <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. This is a very long Are you a dog? <laughs> this is what I have to deal with. <laughs> Um, yeah, I got this huge package. Luna, lie down, good. Um, th yeah, this is a huge package. It's quite heavy. Um, I know this is from a publisher because they used my YouTube channel name instead of my real name. So I have no idea what that is. So we're going to open that. I guess we're taking a break from makeup for a minute because this is too exciting. Where are my scissors? Hopefully it's something good because I have gotten packages in the past where it's like unsolicited and it's books that I would never pick up in a million years. So, um, so we're, we're, we're praying for something good here. Firstly, I can see something that's really thick, like really thick. Okay, this is a really good package guys oh my god okay this is from bloomsbury there's three books in this package um none of them are out yet two of them are arcs and one is a finished copy <sighs> i'm really fucking excited okay sorry there's a change i had to change out the battery but holy moly Okay, I guess we'll start with the one that's coming out the soonest, and this is the finished copy. Let me show you the piece of paper first. Yo! So I have actually pre-ordered the UK hardcover for this, because I love hardcovers. But um, I didn't request these books, so I'm still so thankful, because like, I am dying to read this book. This is the Priory of the Orange Tree. It goes on sale in Australia and worldwide on the 26th of February. Like, yo, I have never been more excited for a book in my life. This is what it looks like. It's thick. And, oh, this detail on the dragon, though. Yes. So this is a standalone adult fantasy. A world divided, a queendom without an heir, an ancient enemy awakens. So, I know it's queer, I know it has dragons, and I know it's a queendom. I don't need to know anything else. I just need to consume it with my eyeballs. Unbelievably excited about this. Thank you, Bloomsbury. You are the true MVP. Then we have two other arcs. The next one um, comes out in March. This is All the Invisible Things by Orlag Collins. Or is it Orla? I'm not sure how to pronounce that comes out on the 1st of April. 
Just kidding. It says March on the side, but it says 1st of April. A fresh and frank coming of age story about what it's like growing up as a teen today with important themes of bisexuality, identity, and the unrealistic portrayal of sex and sexuality online. Oh, I'm digging this. I am digging this. And the author is from Ireland. Ireland. Uh, and she lives in London. She lives in the UK. Awesome. So this is what the actual cover will look like, but this is what the ARC cover looks like. Oh my gosh, this sounds awesome. Oh, the UK edition comes out on the 7th of March. That's why it says March. Oh my god, it says perfect for fans of Holly Bourne and Louise O'Neill. Holly Bourne is my favourite UK YA author. And Louise O'Neill. Louise O'Neill. Louise O'Neill. Okay. Okay, I'm 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 stoked about this. Really pumped. Alright, we've still got one more book to go, guys. This is we is this the title yes it is we are blood and thunder by keisha keisha kasia lupo all right let's look at the slip for this comes out it just says may 2019 it doesn't have an actual date it is a YA fantasy debut in a sealed off city a young woman is running for her life she has been sentenced to death and her only way to survive is to trust those she has been brought up to fear those with magic on the other side of the lock gates is a masked lady constance determined to find a way back in Years ago, she escaped before her own powers were discovered, but now she won't hide who she is any longer. A powerful and terrifying storm cloud engulfs the city, but this is more than a thunderstorm. This is a spell, and the truth behind why it has been cast is more sinister than anyone can imagine. But what, e what neither Lena nor Constant realizes is that the storm cloud binds them. Without it, without each other, neither can get what they desire. Okay. Thrilling, stirring, and completely original. Perfect for fans of Lee Bardugo, Lainey Taylor, and Alan Hamilton. Okay. And it is a UK author. Okay. We can mess with this. Okay. It says on the back, the Australian New Zealand edition comes out on the 29th of April. Cool. Awesome. Thank you so much, Bloomsbury. Like, honestly, I was expecting to get shit on, but happy to announce, no shitting on has occurred okay i'm gonna go finish my makeup and i'm go, gonna go film this video and then i'll catch up with you guys later good morning i always say good morning and it's afternoon good afternoon so it's tuesday why did i put my book all the way over there so last night i put la what mm. so last night i really buckled down and read quite a bit of the wicked king so i am now on page 189 it's boring as hell i gotta be real with you it is really boring like things have kind of started to pick up but that those first 100 pages nothing happened also i'm still you know the only reason i'm reading this is because i want them to bang right and i'm kind of i'm kind of, there's a scene um and it just kind of fades to black and i hate that did they do it did they not do it Look, I don't know. But anyway, I just got this package and um, I have no idea what this is. But it's like pretty heavy and it doesn't say who it's from. I have no idea what this is. I'm, I'm honestly confused. So listen, we're, we're just going to open it and we're going to find out. Is it books? I don't know. Is it something else? I don't know. Let's see. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh my God. Holy shit. Stop. No way. I'm in shock. I'm... I'm really... <laughs> okay, this is a package from someone that I met through Twitter. Her name is Lourdes and um, she reached out to me 
because she wanted to gift me something because she's been a, like a long time subscriber and she saw that I had recently graduated and I was like girl you do not have to do this but she did she did that there are six hardcover books in this package six so guys do me a favor she has a book blog please go and check her out i will leave her link in the description i honestly can't believe that she did this i i i'm in shock thank you so goddamn much <sighs> okay the first one is kind of unfortunate because i just bought this <laughs> So I'm really sorry, Lord Death, that I just bought this book. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. But this is one of my favorite books of all time, Everything, Everything. Basically, the theme of this package is she saw my books that I want to reread and annotate video, and I said for a bunch of my books that I wanted to repurchase them in hardcover because I want to be owning these books for the rest of my life, and hardcovers are just better quality, and I just prefer hardcovers, and I would prefer to annotate hardcovers. So she went and, like repurchased the books that I had in paperback that I said that I wanted in hardcover <sighs> you're the true MVP I can't believe it she also got me shatter me in hardcover I'm actually doing a reread for this series in March in preparation for shatter me and defy me <sighs> I am so fucking blessed this is the new hardcover and this includes um, Warner's novella Destroy Me which I'm really happy about because that novella is everything but holy moly uh, I can't and she also got me the second book Unravel Me <sighs> like honestly I was expecting like two books max and she out here getting me six books look at that pink <sighs> the next two it's a hardcover Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. I love this book so freaking much. I love Becky Albertelli so freaking much and I really wanted the hardcovers. Oh. And I have the hardcover for The Upside of Unrequited but I didn't have the hardcover for Leah on the Offbeat. And a lot of people hated this book but I loved it. I think I just, I related to Leah as a character so hard. My inner Slytherin was living her best life reading this book oh my god and then she got me one book that she said that she knew I didn't have uh, but she just really wanted me to read so that is a Sarah Dessen book once and for all I have read Sarah Dessen in the past when I was young but I have not read anything by Sarah Dessen recently so let's see what this is about oh I'm loving this color scheme Oh my god, I think I've heard about this one. It's about the main character who works at her mother's wedding planning business. Okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. And this is what it looks like under the dust jacket. Honestly, what the dang heckity heck. I honestly don't know what to say. Like, I am so thankful. You did not have to do this. I, I, do, I don't know what to say. Just thank you. <laughs> you didn't have to do it, but thank you. I'm going to send her a message right now. I, I, I just... I am in shock. Okay. Um, I'm going to go. I've been kind of lazy this morning just what, catching up on YouTube videos. But um, my plan is to finish The Wicked King today because I've got quite a few books on my TBR this week, as you saw. But I've got about 150 pages left of this. I mean, it's it's quick to read. I'm just waiting for something to happen, you know what I mean? So, I just, I just don't know what to say, okay? And I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Guys, I was looking for a readathon to do in March, and my girl came through. Shh, okay, 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 listen. The buzzword readathon. It's happening in March. Um, it was created by Books and Lala, but my girl Chelsea is co-hosting. Oh my God, I'm so proud of her. Um, and the buzzwords that you have to read, so the titles of the books that you pick have to have these words in the title. Uh, there's six words, who, what, when, where, why, and how. 
okay so i figured let's go through my shelves together see what books i have and maybe compile a tbr i'm kind of nervous because i actually don't know <laughs> if i have anything okay let's have a look I was getting worried there for a minute. I, I, I looked at three shelves and I couldn't find any books. Okay, we got one. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Okay, okay. I, I was freaking out for nothing. Calm down, everyone. Okay, I found five books. So first we have the Manifesto on How to Be Interesting by Holly Bourne. Holly Bourne is my favourite UK YA author and fun fact, books two and three in the Spinster Club trilogy by her could count towards this readathon. How hard can love be and what's a girl gotta do? But the first one doesn't have any of those words in the title. But this does! Then we have She Wolves and the word is actually in the subtitle, The Women Who Ruled England Before Elizabeth. Hmm. Then we have When My Name Was Kyoko by Linda Sue Park. How to Stop Time by Matt Haig, which I've been wanting to read forever. And another book I've been wanting to read forever. And another Holly Bourne book, How Do You Like Me Now? I don't know if I will actually participate in this readathon, but these are the only books that I have. Just kidding, I'm a donkey and I have The Nowhere Girls, which is ironic because this is like Chelsea's new favourite book. So, hey. Hi. It is 6.30 p.m. I've not gotten out of my pajamas all day. But I have exciting news. I finished The Wicked King and I'm bitter. I'm so disappointed, you guys. People hyped it up so much that there was going to be, like, the greatest sex scene of all time. Listen, there was one and they didn't even bang and it faded to black. Like, what is this bullshit? It was legitimately the only reason I was reading this book. Apart from that, the first half was boring as hell. The second half was, I don't know, it was a little bit exciting. I was shocked by one betrayal and I was not surprised by that ending at all. Saw it coming a freaking mile away. I mean, not the specifics, but like the general, like I, I just, I just knew what was gonna happen. So yeah, overall, I'm being very generous and I'm going to give this three stars even though I think it deserves less. I still don't really understand the hype around this series. But I'm glad I read it and I am excited for the third book. I mean like I do enjoy them, I enjoy them, I just, I just, uh, I, I, don't, I don't understand why people think it's the best thing ever. So yeah, success. Today has been productive. I've uploaded a video, edited another video and uploaded it and scheduled it ready to go. And I finished a book, all without getting out of my pajamas. So yeah, I think I am going to try and find an audiobook for either Never World Wake or Only Ever Yours. And I'm gonna start cleaning because a couple of vlogs ago I mentioned I was like con marrying my house and still doing that. So that's what I might do. I think Blackie's found a new favourite booktuber. It follows a character who becomes pregnant and she lives in Texas where there are very restrictive abortion laws. And Do you love Madeline? Two of her good friends uh, go on basically a road trip um, to get her. I don't know. What time is it? 
Oh, it's still morning for once. Wow. Hi, hello. I still have my eye mask on. Okay. So it's Thursday. I'm feeling really sick this morning. It's been really weird these last few days. I've had period pain on and off, but I haven't started bleeding yet. TMI, but you know. And before you get all up in the comments being like, oh my god, she's totally pregnant. Look, I promise you I am not pregnant, okay? But it was significantly worse this morning. So I'm assuming that I'll get it today, but I feel terrible. Not only that, but I also feel terrible because of my antibiotics. But it's the last day of my antibiotics. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. But anyway, I have stuff to update you on because I don't even remember the last time I did you with yesterday. I don't know. What is this? Half of a dog biscuit. Anyway, um, I finished a book since I last spoke to you. I fish, f fish, what? I finished Never World Wake by Marisha Pessel, which was the book that I picked out of my TBR jar. And listen, I am Confucian over this book. I really need to wash my hair. So I listened to the audiobook and I think that was a mistake because this is very complex and complicated and a lot of it I was just like what the heckity heck is happening and I think if I wasn't listening to the audiobook on double speed probably would have understood it more so it's probably my own fault but I just couldn't be bothered picking it up physically so yeah I think I'm gonna give this like a 2.5 three stars probably my own fault though but some things that weren't because of listening to the audiobook um, I think it took a little bit too long to like get the story going at the start and honestly up until like the last hundred pages I, I couldn't tell you like what the characters names were like all I knew was the main characters name was Beatrice and she has five friends right so basically, I should probably tell you what this is about. Uh, this follows this main character called Beatrice and her five friends who end up in a car accident and because of that they end up in this place called the Neverworld Wake where essentially they're all dead and at the end of each wake, which lasts about 11 hours, they have to vote on one of the friends to survive and the wake will keep repeating itself until they come to, to a unanimous decision. So basically, the five other friends, like couldn't tell you who they are, couldn't tell you their personalities, nothing. And then again, I was just a little bit too confused, but that was my own fault. So, I mean, I think it was clever. It was a really interesting premise, and I loved how it turned into kind of a murder mystery where they kind of had to figure out um, what happened to one of their other friends who had died, the, uh, like, previously. Um, and they sort of figured out that if they figured out that what caused that death, then that would end the wake. I don't know. I'm glad I read it. It was interesting. Uh, who is that? What are you doing here? Who invited you? Oh my god. <sighs> okay. We all know my period's coming today. <laughs> anyway, so I finished that. Happy days. I think it is time to start my City of Bones reread because I wanted to get a video up of me reading and annotating this book on Saturday and it's already Thursday so look we need to get a move on with that friends but I'm really excited about it so that means um because I finished Neverworld Wake I only have three books left on my monthly TBR City of Bones, Only Ever Yours and The Name of the Wind I am killing it but I say I'm killing it but we don't have that many days left in the month left I honestly don't know if I'll get to The Name of the Wind which I'm pretty sad about but it is what it is. I also want to show you, so I told you that I was going to like keep cleaning, doing my con marrying thing that I was doing, and I have some progress to show you. Um, so I did the front room, which I'll show you a before clip here. It was a mess. It has been a mess since like my internship because I was just too busy to clean and if I had junk I would just throw it in that room. But my internship finished in December. And it still looked like that. So, um, bless you, Lucas. So, I had to get that shit organized. And it's still kind of messy. Um, like, there's just a lot of junk piled up. But at least it's not on the floor and in some sort of organized manner. So, 
I'll show you now. Hi Luna. So here's what it looks like now. Um, this is a bag of rubbish. This is stuff I need to take to Salvo's. This is my housemate's stuff. But basically, why do we have so many suitcases? I don't know. But yeah, it's kind of still a mess. In these boxes, we just have like all of my like teaching resources and there's some books and just random stuff. But I also, I went through all of these drawers and organized them. Same with these ones. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Oh, it's Oscar. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? Playing with a moth. Okay, then. What else can we find? Who's surprised? <laughs> I also wanted to say something else. I posted my reaction to your assumptions video this morning and I was really nervous about it, but I woke up to an influx of just positive comments on that video and it just makes me so happy. And I'm glad you guys agree with me that we should normalize women talking about sex. Like it's a thing. So it already has like almost 60 comments on that video and it's been up for four hours. So I just wanna say a massive thank you. Um, honestly, I was expecting to get like 10,000 dislikes on that video. And so far, it only has five dislikes. But you know, there are some prudes out there. It's fine. It's less dislikes than my uh, apparently I'm pregnant vlog got. That has 21 dislikes. I know I shouldn't let that get to me. But I mean, like I said in my assumptions video, I care way too much about what other people think of me. And I, it's something that I need to work on. And it's something that I have needed to work on. For my whole life like i have always been that way so if you be hating it's okay even though my brain says it's not we can't all like everyone it's fine i mean there are people that are on youtube that i don't like either but i don't go around disliking their videos but it's fine okay i'm gonna stop being salty now and just say thank you for the overwhelming support did not expect it but i am so grateful you guys are the best okay i'm gonna go and ask lucas what we should name our new child and i'm gonna start my city of bones vlog hi guys what are you doing <laughs> you guys are so sweet you guys are so sweet Uh, so hi, it is Saturday afternoon. I've just had a weird couple of days, probably to do with the fact that I finally got my period. I was starting to freak out because it was four days late, but we're fine. But I just have been doing nothing. I have not read a single page in like two days. I've been watching a ton of YouTube. I watched the entire season two of The Dragon Prince yesterday. I... I'm just in a mood. I don't know what it is. I'm just in a mood. So I don't really know. I was supposed to upload a video today, but obviously I didn't. I was gonna post my City of Bones vlog, but I haven't even started the dang book. And then I was like, oh, that's fine. My owl crate will come and I'll just post an unboxing, but it's still not here. So I don't know what's going on. I've seen people getting their owl crate in the mail where's mine i don't know might have something to do with the fact that i live on a big island in the middle of nowhere i also i attempted to start reading only ever yours but honestly i just can't be bothered <laughs> if you've read this can you tell me is it worth it because i've had this book for over five years and i still haven't read it and i just i don't know if i'm that interested in it so Please, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Oh no, I did read something. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. Okay, I read the BTS webtoon, Save Me. So only seven like episodes are out, but 
yeah it's created by bts i will leave the link for it down in the description if you guys want to check it out if you're bts fans but basically the webtoon is the backstory of their music videos like specifically the i need you music video and the run music video it kind of explains the story and all seven members are characters in this story and it is so cool so yeah i read that um a new episode is uploaded every thursday so i'm all up to date so i guess i'll just keep reading it every thursday but it's so cool but other than that um this afternoon i randomly just got down some of my old diaries from high school and started reading them and i think i'm gonna start a series on my channel of me reading my high school diaries because it is hilarious. I was so annoying. I liked a new boy every day, but I also went through some stuff. When I was 13, I went through um, a really bad anxiety phase that caused me to have agoraphobia, which means I couldn't leave my house. I had to move high schools. Just a lot of stuff happened. And a lot of stuff that I completely forgot about. And I just think it would be really interesting to go back and just like read through them with you and laugh at them, but also like analyze them. Hi Blackie, can I help you? He is not having it, look at his face. <laughs> this is the wizard cat I was talking about in my assumptions video, by the way. He's a wizard, not a cat, aren't you? You can see it in his eyes. Anyway, so I think I'm going to start filming that um, new series. I'm going to start filming that soon. I think that'll be so fun. And also, along with my diaries, I don't know if you know this, but I was a singer-songwriter, like, all throughout high school. I played the guitar and I just wrote songs about everything that happened in my life. And I think it'd be really cool to, like, put snippets of those songs in, like, after the... Um, diary entries because I talk about it I'm like oh I wrote a song about this and like how it made me feel and I just think it would be really cool I don't know but yeah we only have five days left in the month and I think I'm only going to get to reading City of Bones I don't know if I will read Only Ever Yours uh, definitely not going to read The Name of the Wind in five days but yeah that's what's been happening uh, not very exciting but that's the way the cookie crumbles. So yeah, I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna finally start reading City of Bones and catch up with you guys later. officially Monday so I need to end this vlog but holy moly okay I woke up at 7 a.m. so anxious because over the weekend I finalized my account for my new job which will be relief teaching or substitute teaching or whatever you want to call it and I was so anxious that I was gonna get a call this morning like calling me into a school to teach and obviously I didn't get called in May, that probably have some has something to do with the fact that I only put like five schools on my preference list um, But I'm just so anxious to go to a school that like I've never been before like what if it's terrible? Hello Luna and like I've been having nightmares where I've been teaching and the kids aren't listening to me and I don't know I'm just really really anxious about starting like this new chapter and Yeah, so I probably should go in and change my preferences. Also, this is crooked story of my life so yeah i'm just i'm feeling weird today feeling anxious even though like it, it, i'm not being called in today obviously because it's like 10 a.m now but anyway i have been reading city of bones i am loving my reread i've been filming a read with me vlog for it so that'll be up sometime soon but as of right now i am like almost done with this kind of i'm on page 349 so i've got just over 100 pages left and 
It's so fun, you guys. I'm just thoroughly enjoying my reread. So I'm planning on finishing this today, but that'll be in the next vlog because I've got to end this one. So basically this week I read two and a half-ish books, which I had five books on my weekly TBR, which was way too ambitious in the first place. So I guess, you know, I'm pretty pleased with what I read. I read The Wicked King by Holly Black, which is like a 2.5, three stars. Still really bitter about this. And then I read Never World Wake, which I also gave like 2.53 stars. It's a pretty average reading week, actually. Kind of bummed. I was disappointed with both of these books. But then we have my reread of City of Bones, and it's the best. I was going to read this this week. I'll probably still try and read this because there's still four days left in the month. Three and a half days left in the month. Oh my god, it's raining. I gotta get my cat. How rude. Luna? Oh, 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 ow, moon boots. Why are you like this? I was just trying to help you, moon boots, and you betrayed me. No, nope. <laughs> she doesn't want it. Okay, so I guess that's it for this weekly little. I can't. Ow. So I guess that's it for this week's reading vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was really long. Um, sorry. I hope you're okay with it being long, longer than normal. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'll see you soon in new videos. I have videos planned for this week. Okay, we have this vlog going up. We have hopefully an Alcrane unboxing. Hello, can I help you? We have my March TBR and possibly my City of Bones Read With Me vlog. We've got a lot happening, don't we? And then this week we also should have my February wrap up go up. Yeah, I know, it's crazy, right? Do you have anything else to say? Cool story, bro. Okay, catch you in the next video. Bye!